Hi everybody, Catfish Jones here for a little bit of couch talk with Carfish. Once again, I'm here on the sofa. Some kitties are over there making noise somewhere. And uh, thought that I would have a little chat, have uh, a little bit of continuation of this Vlogtober madness. Yes, I hear you. <laughs> Today I thought I would talk about the uh, bottom of YouTube, kind of a loose circle of fellow content creators and YouTube personalities that uh, I mingled with when I first started doing YouTube. Um, I'm not going to let it distract me. When I think I mentioned when I started putting out videos, I had uh, you know I had been inspired by creators like Adam the Woo and some of that group um, that he created with around all of that those times, um, and they did a lot of you can't really call them adventure vlogs, but it was like. Uh, you know, as they traveled, as Adam traveled, he would stop and look at roadside attractions. They would go and spend the day at Disney World or wherever they may have been, various different places um, that certainly garnered uh, a number of clicks for him. Um, and it was fun to watch, fun to keep up with, especially as it was going on a daily basis. You wanted to just see what happened tomorrow and what happened tomorrow and what happened tomorrow until it finally stopped and for me the spell was kind of broken um but somewhere in there i started doing my own videos and caught on with another group of people who similar to me had whether they were inspired by adam the woo or some of those other creators or maybe were some of those other creators themselves but smaller channels um and we kind of all gathered for a while on a nightly live stream hosted by one of my good friends, good YouTube friends, Mark Fun Jones, where he was doing a consistent, you know, painting every day on a YouTube live stream. So every day, everybody knew they could gather around, you know, eight Easternish, something like that, um, around Mark Fun Jones' YouTube channel, pile on in the comments and have great conversations with people, meet a number of people, interact with these people, collaborate with some of these people in, in certain situations. Um, and Mark himself, uh, you know, grew to be a, a great inspiration of mine. Him doing those daily paintings led to me doing tiny paintings weekly, especially that first year. I did it every week for a year and then another half a year that followed. And I don't think I've done a full year since then. Uh, certainly a goal to get back to doing those full time. But Mark Von Jones doing that every day, not only was it inspiring to see somebody stick to a goal and, um, you know, push themselves hard to, you know, even if he wasn't having a great day, he would get on and paint something. It might not be that long of a stream, but most days he would get on there and paint and then, you know, play some music and sing along and talk to people in the comments. And in general, it was a good time, but... There were also a number of people that got on those streams that were just there. As anybody who's experienced the internet knows, there's people who just want to get on there and mess with people. And some of those channels, most of the time those channels don't have content. Those people are just getting on there to interact with other people, maybe ruffle some feathers and see whose buttons they could push, who they could trigger, and then have a good chuckle. But some of those people themselves were inspired to make content, and some of that stuff was actually pretty good. Um, I remember before Klerski the Creeper was making a lot of content, he was having a lot of fun with that kind of stuff as well, getting into the Mark Fun Jones channels and then kind of making, I don't want to say spoof videos, but certainly uh, interacting with people that way. And now he's gone on to do um, pretty much daily content uh, in the, Orlando, or the uh, Portland area, Portland, Oregon area which is, is super exciting. Um, somebody that, you know, I watch his mentions come up every time that he posts a video, it shows up on my thing, and I try to click over there and watch it. Don't always get to comment, but I do enjoy seeing it. Um, 
and some of these other other creators that may have just started creating because at that point you know they were making fun of creators and being challenged to do something creative themselves and found out that hey here's some attention that you can get just by you know being creative instead of destructive um <laughs> you can't take take the troll out of some of those folks so in general that whole group of people that surrounded around there um i don't want to talk about it a lot but a lot of this comes from the Camo Dave channel as well, who I found about, out about through watching Adam the Woo. He was kind of a, I don't think there's a better way to say it than a critic. He was a critic and a reviewer of uh, Nomad channels. And of course, Adam the Woo was doing some Nomad stuff and um, got picked up by, by Camo Dave and got reviewed and found out about it, and that's how I found about Camo Dave. And again, another creator who was doing regular content about, and of course, then he could just do it about any of the, the nomads that were out there doing van life or uh, RV living or you know just having their channels like that, and he would do reviews of them, and he would be a critic, and he would keep everybody up to date on what everybody was doing. Um, and that was another channel that I followed very consistently, even when I wasn't necessarily uh, outward on the YouTube, but without going too deep into that, because uh, I'll get emotional if I talk too much about Camo Dave. Um, but his comment section was another place where you could go in to a live stream and meet a lot of these same people that you saw in the Mark Fun Jones, but a whole nother group of people as well. People who had nothing to do with the Adam the Woo side, who were just there for all this other stuff. And that whole conglomeration of creators and commenters and watchers and viewers and just that whole magical mix kind of became known as the bottom of YouTube. And not just like there's one bottom of YouTube. There's been a number of different groups of creators that call themselves the bottom of YouTube, but it's like the bottom of the ocean where there's not just one bottom of the ocean. The ocean's huge and the bottom is just as huge. Um... And so especially on YouTube, the bottom is vast, uncountable, unmeasurably vast. And uh, I was very proud to count myself among some of that bottom of YouTube, amongst some of those creators, some great creators who are still out there creating, um, and some creators who, you know, maybe lost the passion and don't do it anymore or don't show up on my blips anymore. Um, of course, I found... You know, Rant Jams is one that I found through Mark Fun Jones and through some of these others and found a whole nother circle of creators who kind of interacted with these bottom of YouTube creators as well and all became part of that same thing. Of course, nothing lasts forever and drama took over a lot of that. A lot of those uh, creators got sucked into the drama or created the drama or uh, reinforced the drama and kind of sucked all the fun out of it for a lot of people. But... As it is, that was a, a moment of time that really sticks with me in my YouTube journey and something that I thought I would share with all of you guys. So that was kind of my story on bottom of YouTube. I don't know if that group, uh, they used to do awards every year, the Boyt Awards, and uh, I've seen some of those those players kind of get together and, and play, um, you know, Roland Doors of Balls and Aaron big time. Um, of course, Mark Fun Jones and some of the other circles, various circles who have, you know, fractured off into their own circles and created their own um, kind of ecosystems. Uh, you know, I think some of that is healthy and some of it may not have been healthy. And so I don't necessarily stick around with it, but it is there and it is part of the story and part of the adventure. So that was maybe a little bit of a long couch talk with Carfish. But it was a bit of my journey through the bottom of YouTube via this channel and that channel over some touchy subjects, hopefully gracefully, on out the other side. And here we are in Vlogtober of 2022, continuing on. Hope to do some great stuff tomorrow. Feel like I've done some great stuff so far. And uh, I don't know. We'll see what the next day holds. Until then, be well and cheers.